Here they are, the Canon EOS R5 and the Canon EOS R6. Tell us a bit about what you discovered, Mike. Yeah, well, the R6 is an absolute delight of a camera to use. Um, I particularly like its low light performance mm -hmm. uh, capability. It's incredible under low light. It's got a 20 million pixel sensor mm -hmm. and will autofocus down to minus 6.5 EV. Wow. And when you couple that to the 1 million and 24,000 ISO rating that this camera is capable of doing, yeah. this camera can really perform well under low light. So you have up to eight stops image stabilization, five built into the actual camera body and up to three with the RF lenses, giving a total of up to eight oh. stops. Well, the one thing about the OR system is the larger mount adapter. Mm -hmm. And this allows a greater transfer of information because there's actually a greater number of contact points yeah. on these lenses, um, which uh, would be used with the entire range of RF lenses, which they're continually adding to. Mm -hmm. um, despite that, you can still use the Canon EF lenses using the RF to EF mount adapter, and the performance is extremely good. Obviously, not as good as getting the RF, but very, very close. This camera can lock on any target under low light. Mm -hmm. It's got autofocus, which will detect an eye in a human, an eye in an animal, yeah. a human body shape or an animal body shape as well. Right. So your subject will not get away from you with this camera. The other thing I like about it is it's got the dual card slot. Two uh, UHS-2 uh, SD card slots. Mm -hmm. Um, absolutely ideal for your backup work. As I say, this camera is a good all-rounder yeah. and the video uh, is actually stunning. And now this is a mouthful. Um, yeah. This camera's got 10-bit color, 422, 4K video with 60 frames per second in full frame. Now, I hope you got all of that because that is absolutely superb. That blew me away. Coupling that with the sensor, coupling that with the ISO, and coupling that with the image stabilization. This camera is an absolute dream boat to beat. And I think you're gonna find it hard to top mm -hmm. that with the R5. So do your best. Well, yeah, I can. Uh, so this guy has 8K raw internal video with full frame, uh, 30 frames a second. It can do 120 frames a second on the 4K, 10 bit 422 color. and anywhere below obviously. Like that it has the dual pixel autofocus and it also has that in the video mode. So you got your dual pixel autofocus in all the codecs, 8K right the way down. Uh, and also in that video, it is using the full sensor area. Uh, you have your eye detect, your animal eye detect, and again, the, the body shapes, the animal um, and human body shapes. It has again, two card slots, but this guy has because of the AK RAW and the, and, and the 4K up to 120, you have the CF Express cards on much greater data rate, and then you have a UHS-2 SD card. Also, of course, with this, it's got the H.265 codec, so it's far more efficient at compressing the data. So you're getting longer record times in the camera and more data on your cards, or you have more space for data on your cards. Not to mention, it's more efficient for video editing as well. Then in the stills, you're up to 45 million pixel resolution. Uh, again, with the inbuilt image stabilizer, and it has um, a t maximum 12, like, like this guy, the maximum 12 frames a second in the mechanical shutter, and up to 20 frames a second on the electronic shutter, all with no blackout in the viewfinder. Speaking of which, a very nice viewfinder, 5.7 million pixel resolution. So I was able to zoom in up to 15 times on the viewfinder, just doing pinpoint AF. There's something about the power as well on both of these. Uh, there's a new battery. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's, well, there's the new um, LPE6H, so a higher capacity battery, which is backward compatible with the R's and 5D Mark IVs, etc. It has the usuals like their mic input, headphone jack, and so forth and again a clean HDMI out feed so if you do want to record external you can do that as well so, so overall so overall between the stills package and the video package this camera is suitable for any professional photographer well, it is the ultimate creator's dream because it, it is both an amazing stills camera and an amazing video camera I think really the main users of this camera are going to be 
quite possibly video users. And, you know, you, like this is a very credible B cam in, in the movie industry, um, as well as, you know, content creators, TV production, and of course, professional photographers. Well, this particular camera, I think, is aimed at uh, the prosumer. Mm -hmm. um, you could easily use it professionally, uh, but I think with the price point that Canon have actually put it into, mm -hmm. I think there'll be a huge amount of prosumers, um, people who yeah. love their photography and some people who earn their living from it. So mm -hmm. I think it's going to be uh, a real mixed bag of people because it's got so much to appeal to everyone, really. Yeah. Um, so I think this camera is going to do really well. Well, a bit of, a bit of background um, to the Canon system. We came yeah. from, uh, when I started in the trade, it was the FD mount system. Mm -hmm. And Canon completely reinvented the mount. Now, I was one of their strongest critics at the time where I didn't see the way forward and I thought they were leaving behind their customers. Yeah. In fact, what they did was they actually created a very clear pathway um, which has lasted um, to today and will continue to go on in conjunction with this entire new system. Yeah. And this entire new system has changed the game again. What we've done now uh, is we've got a uh, higher contact point by the bigger mount, so there's more contact points to pass information. Yeah. Uh, so future development um, can happen more easily. Um, the entire RF lens range uh, is uh, really high quality. Uh, they are introducing more lenses all the time and they're bringing them in at different tiered levels. So there's mm -hmm. professional, prosumer, and a more amateur range of lenses, where yeah. every single one of them is absolutely stunning. And on top of that, they, the mount adapter um, this time, they've been able to look after the people who've been around, and they can actually allow you to bring your older glass with you, um, EF and glass. Uh, EF glass, yeah. uh, to put on the camera. So. Um, the last system uh, was in the marketplace for 35 years yeah. and um, so I think Canon are in this for the long haul with this mount. Yeah. So if you want to find out more about the cameras, drop into the store and talk to one of the team or alternatively you can find us on conscameras.ie.